Man suffering severe burns to his hands and his face during a backyard accident with gasoline. Terrifying fireball, this whole thing caught on camera. New specialist Lad Egan, live force in Orm with more on just what happened here and how that man is doing tonight. Lad? Yeah, Mike, I just spoke with the man's wife. She says that her husband is at home recovering, but in a lot of pain today. Neighbors are calling this a freak accident, saying that it happened when he tried to start a fire in his backyard. Always a really fun-loving guy. He loves the outdoors. On January 14th, Jason Hone was in the backyard of his Orm home. He crouches down at the fire pit, arranges <clears throat> some wet wood, and then pours gasoline. He believes it was some static that actually caught the can of gas on fire. The father of four enveloped in a ball of fire. He said that he kind of flinched, and so the gas went all over his face, his hands. Hone frantically jumps away from the fire pit and throws himself to the ground. When that doesn't put the flames out, he removes his coat. While running back to the house, he forcefully swats at his face to extinguish his burning beard. Just that ball of fire just explode. It was pretty hard to watch. In addition to the burn injuries, emergency room doctors told Hone that he needs emergency back surgery. He's pretty much on the border of being paralyzed. Um, if he does one wrong move, um, he could sever the nerve in his back completely. Neighbors say the family is trying to stay in high spirits. But um, the truth is they're they're in really, really bad shape. They've created a GoFundMe to help with medical bills and ongoing expensive care for their daughter born with a rare genetic disorder. We love the Hone family. Um, they're so thoughtful. So it's just hard to see something like this happen uh, to a family that was already struggling. They really have had the world taken out from under them. And luckily, he didn't breathe. Uh, he held his breath while that fire was all around him, saving his lungs from any damage. And I will put a link for those who want to help to this GoFundMe on our website. You know, Mike, this family truly just going through a lot right now. Oh, that video is terrifying. I just can't even imagine. Just terrifying. Yeah.